are they going to explain that? You can't contain the pod, you break, you just can't take the plane back. So just stay on BBC, you don't tell us how to act. And if you hate the content, then take a step back. Why I watch the video? How you gonna explain that? How? How? How you gonna explain that? How? How? How you gonna explain that? So you know, Harrison, there'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, as a fan of Amanda Nunes, this right here, I was I was excited, man, when I, I saw the notifications pop up on my phone, and it's images of Amanda Nunes actually putting in that work. And I'm happy because, you know what, if Amanda Nunes can defeat Valentina Shevchenko again, then there's, there's no question. There's no question that Amanda Nunes will be the best women's MMA bantamweight on the planet, okay? And maybe even probably the best pound-for-pound pound women's MMA fighter on the planet, okay? If she can perform the feat, it's not going to be easy for her to do, okay? This fight is going to be a 50-50 fight. Um, both of these ladies, her and Valentina, they're both skilled. They're, they're highly skilled. They're both well-rounded in all areas. So this fight is going to be five rounds. And it's going to be the battle of skill. That's what it is, okay? Um, but I'm happy. I'm glad because now, you know, Amanda is going to sharpen her skills. She's going to get the cardio. And here it is now. It's April, May, June, July. So, okay. So she's got, you know, a good three months, you know, to really get things under under control. Because I predicted they're going to be fighting in July. That That's just my opinion, okay? But... As a Nunez fan, okay, this this right here, this is good news, and this is good to see. And, and you know what? Maybe she probably has been doing little things here and there, but it, from the looks of it in Brazil when she was there, it just didn't look like she was doing much of anything, you know? And and I even kind of noted that it looked like she put on some weight, you know, a little bit. Not, not like much where, you know, she's like incredibly out of shape. She just looked like, you know, she was a bit heavier than I'm used to seeing her, okay? That's that's just it, but nothing huge. Um, but, you know, she did some CrossFit. Uh, you know, she's been, in, you know, hitting the pads and hitting the mitts. So, you know, it looks like Amanda Nunes knows that, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I got the biggest fight in my career coming up again, and you know what? Let's go ahead and get sharp. Let's go ahead and do what we got to do. So, yeah, this is great news, okay? Uh, you know, even uh, Nina Ansaroff, she's getting back. You know, I don't really cover her that much but you know she's getting back into what she's got to do because you know i think she's gonna have a fight soon and don't be surprised if nina ansarov is fighting on the same card as amanda nunez don't be surprised okay she might be too um but this fight is gonna be a fight okay this is the fight that people are gonna want to see you know and i hope that they make them a co-main event on some big name you know so people can see because that's just gonna further promote women's mma if they're the co-main events, you know, to like a big name in mixed martial arts, you know, that's how it's going to be. But, you know, uh, Amanda Nunes, Valent uh, Valentina Shevchenko too. It's going to be a fight. And, you know, a lot of people come on here, yeah, Amanda's going to come in and she dominated Valentina the first time. Really, honestly, she did some damage to Valentina in the first two rounds, but I'm going to tell y'all, Valentina, she had her figured out by the third round, and it was clear. Um, this fight's going to be interesting. It really is. Because I need to know, like, what version of Valentina are we going to see? Are we going to see the slow starter, or are we going to see a Valentina that's going to commit? And that's going to play a big role. And I need to know what version of Amanda Nunes we're going to see. Are we going to see the version of Amanda Nunes that come right out and just beat the hell out of you, or are we going to see the version of Amanda Nunes that you know, it's a bit more tactical, that's picking up, uh, sp picking her spots and trying to pick you apart. I, I think, honestly, guys, I can't see Amanda Nunes coming in like she did Ronda Rousey. Because I, I, uh, if she do that, you know, that same thing that she did to Ronda, she's going to get countered all night long. And I can't see Valentina trying to just sit back and wait 
and try to pick spots with Amanda Nunes, you can't do that. Because if Valentina sits back to try to pick spots with her, then Amanda Nunes, <laughs> she's not going to counterpunch her. Amanda going to take an angle. She's going to take a nice little angle and take Valentina to the ground. Like, that's what's going to happen. So Valentina, you know, she, she definitely, her wrestling better be on point. Because Amanda Nunes is not going to try to stand with her. Her wrestling better be on point. And Amanda Nunes, now here's the thing. Her submission defense better be on point. <laughs> she better be working on submission defense because we all know now. You've seen it. Valentina can submit the hell out of you, okay? She can. And I think Valentina got a, a whole lot more tricks in the bag that she's letting people see, okay? And I think Valentina going to pull out every single skill set that she got to win this fight. It's going to take that. I think Amanda Nunez is going to pull out some tricks, too, that we don't... I, I just I think these two... This is a trilogy to me, okay? This fight is a trilogy. If Valentina wins, Amanda Nunez should automatically get a rematch, okay? Now, here's my thing. If Amanda Nunez beats Valentina for the second consecutive time, then I think Valentina is going to have to work her way back up to get another title shot. That That's just it, okay? Like... Because, you know, Amanda, you know, has a point. You know, look, I already beat you, and if she beat you again, okay, it's somebody else's turn to get a shot. You know, it just is. But if Valentina wins, you know, I definitely believe Amanda Nunes deserves an instant rematch because, you know, Amanda's a good champion. I like Amanda. Um, and as a fan, yeah, I, I am I'm, I'm a bit impatient. I, I really I want this fight to get booked, to be ready, so we can, here on YouTube, we can start trying to build the fight, you know. We can build it with anticipation with our matchups, with, you know, our what, who we think going to win, uh, even get some debates going, you know, Team Shevchenko, Team Nunes, you know, people who are for either side. And we just get debates going, you know. That's that's what it is to build a fight of this magnitude, okay? It's like, okay, we can't depend on the fighters themselves to build a fight. We can't do that all the time, you know. If we're fans of the sport, then we have to help build the fight, you know. We've got to argue. I mean, we got to do a lot of stuff, you know. We've got to argue. We got to talk PG-13 channel to each other. But it's going to help build the fight, okay. And for the sport, you know, I think the movement that we've started here with women's MMA, I think is going to grow and grow and grow. And when this particular channel reaches to about 10,000 subscribers, th there's going to be more that's going to be done, okay. But, you know, as a fan of Amanda Nunes, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm happy. This is something... That I've just been waiting. Okay, Amanda, are you working out? What are you doing? What? Because I want this fight to be one of the best fights in women's MMA history, okay? Now, who am I leaning toward right now? I don't know. It's hard to say. It's 50-50, okay? It's 50-50. I, I don't know. Like, I really, at this point, can't tell you who I think is going to win the fight. I can't. Because both Nunez and Shevchenko, these women, they can fight their asses off. I don't know. I don't know. But as the weeks and months approach, I'll begin to make my assessments. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.